So let's break this down. Here we are, we've entered the room. I see light coming in. It's a bright, sunny day outside. It'd be very difficult to shoot, but it's perfect right here, right now. All right, first thing I do is I find the light switch. Goodbye, overheads. Totally changed, completely. Now it's controllable light. There's one source of light, and that's the window light. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna scoot over here and show you how wonderful this particular wall could be for the guys. It's brick. It's old warehouse brick. It's masculine. This is going to be a perfect opportunity for me. The light is side light. We're going to talk a lot about light and I think we'll do a little light lesson right now before we get shooting. There's, there's three areas of light that we, we love. We love directional side light. And just to show you how easy it is to use, all I have to do is open the window. Pull the shades back. So I'll say to Kara, hey, we're gonna use that wall. Kara, do you mind preparing that for me? And it's gonna be this one here. And what I'm doing is picking the perfect shade to add that light so it's directional on the subjects. Here, Kara, I've got that. I've got it right here. So Kara's gonna set that up for a future shot. So first, one, I've controlled the light, I've turned off the overheads, we no longer have mixed lighting, it's all one source of light. It is natural lighting. And by the way, that is coming, all that light is coming from bouncing off of the buildings across the street. Let you see his industrial area, it's bouncing everywhere. It's not coming straight in the windows. If it's coming straight in, it would hit and make those shades glow. We are on the north side of the building. The sun is that direction. It's bouncing back. This is the best light ever, bouncing light. And now we have this aperture that we've created with the window shades. And boy, is this gonna be a great place. And it's ready to go when I'm ready to photograph blue and, and the first few shots with this boys, okay? So let's grab camera and then I want to talk to you about entering the room and it's more often than not I come in with the guys and all the guys are all ready to go. Sometimes they're not and I can tell a story about them not in their clothing. But more often than not Blue is ready in this case and I want to tell the story of his details. I'll take the, the BX2 Pro Shooter and the camera. We'll start with the lens bag actually. Yeah, I'll just do this. But he's ready to go and I need to still, I need to match the details. I know in the future I'm going to be photographing all the brides, our beautiful bride, uh, all of her details before she puts them on. I ask the bride to, since I'm a guy, I don't necessarily want to be in the room when she's, you know, putting on her dress. And some brides don't mind. Here, pardon me, one second. Kara, I need you to hold the camera and then I'll grab the camera after the bag. Thank you, sweet. So, Often, and yeah, we're doing it from the wrong side. So often, so, and I'm gonna to explain to you what lenses I have too. In one second, it's in my bag. I have two sets of lenses, my fast lenses and my versatile lenses as well. Here we get ready to go. What I'm gonna shoot with today is the 24-1-4. This is a little bit lower light. So I want that 1-4. I want narrow depth of field, 85 millimeter, 1-2. And I have the 70 to 200 for that long shot compressing against this wall. And the 24 to 70 on the camera. I'll take it from you now. And we are ready to go. We're going to have some fun. Okay, let's talk settings. Before I even get in the room, I'm going to go to manual mode. And I just fired a test shot. Didn't even look through it at the wall. They might show you that picture. Didn't even look through, just fired a test shot. I'm right now at ISO 1600, 200th of a second, 28, a narrow depth of field, which is perfect for what I'm about to do. I'm gonna detail shots of our groom. So Blue Cup, are you my brother? So he has got a beautiful watch on, look at that. He's got a cuff links on, he's got a bow tie, he's got a boot and ear, and, all, and everything's ready to go, and you look very sharp, my friend. Thank you. Looking very good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is give him a reason for showing me all these things. Hey, can I borrow you? Let's go against this wall. Look at this light, the way it falls off him. Okay? So what you, anytime you pose, there's a couple types of light. Let me get into that before we go deep into shooting. There's flat light, and there's directional light. This is a perfect example of directional light from where I'm standing. Now, if I were to put blue right here, 
and look towards me now. This is flat light. Let's show you the difference with two, two quick shots. Looking good, brother. Light it up. Okay. Because I did that test shot earlier, it's perfect exposure. Now directional. Okay, so I'm going to face your feet this direction. So notice I'm giving him a direction to go by moving my feet, moving my positioning to where I need his feet to go to. Otherwise, he would just turn his whole body. So I say you direct a pose from the feet and then you, you um, direct the body from that position. So if I stand here and say, hey, turn your feet towards me, he knows exactly what to do. And now, okay, face your feet right towards me, stay right there. Good, and now look out towards the light. Fantastic. Okay, so I took one shot there, he's a little close to the light. It was a little bit bright, and so I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna close down the shutter Two clicks, one, two. And let's do it again. I'm 3 20th of a second, and there, perfect exposure. Okay, now I'm ready to go. I'm in manual. We are um, easily able to photograph multiple images now, all in the same exposure. And what I know I need to do is get, is tell a story of our groom getting ready. Okay, we can involve just him alone, or could bring in his brothers, his friends, shoot them all together, it doesn't matter, but we need to tell a story against this background. So first of all, he's got, look at his hands right now. I'm not even going to move them. All right, that's a beautiful watch. I'm going to come down here, fire a couple shots off. Can you do me a favor? Just hold it like that. Fantastic. Good, good, good. And your bow tie, it's a little bit crooked for me. Even though it wasn't, he grabs it naturally. He's making it easy on me. Are you wearing cufflinks today? Yes. Let me see, brother. So notice he pulled them out. He just naturally did that. I'm not saying, let's take a picture of your cufflinks. I'm giving him a reason to pull his cufflinks out. Okay, good. Look that way for the, for the light. Fantastic.